Hello everybody, this is another Hot Wheels Collector video. Today we are looking at the Mercedes-Benz Unimog 1300L. This is actually a really quite old car. I thought this was the new Unimog, but it isn't. Because this model was produced between 1975 and 1993, which is interesting. It does look like the new Unimog, and they've always had that similar kind of design. Um, and the Unimog that we have today is very much just an updated version of this one right here in front of you. It doesn't actually look as old as it kind of is, I don't think. It's quite a future-proof design. Anyways, let's get into the rest of the facts for this car. So this car had about 31,000 which were produced, and this car had a 2.2 litre engine, which produced 129 horsepower. That's not that impressive, and it was quite a slow car. But what was pretty impressive was the 268 pound feet of torque, so it did have quite a lot of get up and go about it, but obviously it had a really slow top speed due to that horsepower number. And this car obviously weighed quite a lot. I say car, it's not really a car, it's kind of a truck, but you know what I mean when I say car. This car had an 8 speed manual and was primarily used in the military. Um, as well as sometimes fire trucks I saw, which was interesting. I'm not sure what country that was in, but um, yeah, there you go. This car had rear wheel drive, but there was a selectable all wheel drive option. Obviously, you would probably have to flick a switch or something. I'm not entirely sure how you would do that. But that's pretty advanced technology, I think, especially for 1975. This car also had a top speed, which was not very good, but it was 50 to 68 mile per hour. I believe there was also a 1700 L version of this, and that was the better version with more horsepower and more torque. I couldn't find the price of this when it was new. I'm guessing maybe it was just available to the military, or I'm not entirely sure how that worked back then, but I couldn't find a brand new price for this one, oddly. But I could find the price of them right now, because they are selling uh, on the internet. There was a few available, about three or four, I think, and they were mainly in Euros, so probably in Germany. and. Right now they are selling for about £50,000, it was close to €60,000, well a bit less actually, more like €55,000, but yeah, pretty expensive price, but it is quite a large vehicle and a lot of machinery, and I can't picture it being very cheap when it was new, probably talking definitely in the hundreds of thousands I would imagine, uh, because the new Unimog is about 250000 so maybe this had a similar price, I'm not fully sure because I could not find it. But anyways, that's all the facts. That's been a long segment. Now let's get into the actual review and showcase of this car. All right, so starting off with the side of the car, we'll start off with the wheels. These are the six slot off-road wheels. They are done in gray. Very nice, complement the design of this car very nicely. This car is done in a baby blue, but it's actually a matte baby blue. Although it doesn't feel like a chalkboard like the Honda CRX, which I have in my collection, which is done in gray and is from the 2020 three main lines just like this one is. As you can see there is some nice tampering on the side so we'll start off this is all about like a rescue kind of vehicle. They have done it uh, previously I think this year in a brown colour but I do prefer this baby blue colour and that's why I picked it up. But if they had only done the brown um, colour of it this year I probably would not have uh, picked one up this year if I'm entirely honest. You can see the colour scheme is obviously a, a luminous yellow that's what it's meant to be anyway and white. You can also see the Hot Wheels logo is done in yellow as well. As for the tampons on the door, we do have the number 13 as well as a nice yellow stripe reading Unimog in matte. And that is obviously just done using that baby blue colour. Not actually done in tampo or the Unimog writing. You can also see there is a nice large vent in the side of this car in the actual metal casting. And you can also see the front window is round wound down and the actual glass is orange which I found was interesting. I say glass, it's actually just plastic meant to represent the glass. And I will also mention that this does not fit in the creative options organizers standing up. You do have to lay it on its side, and that is actually its slot right there. With that uh, pad in, I put that there just for protection. You can also see there's another vent on the front fender of this casting as well. And this casting does not unfortunately have any wing mirrors. It also does have windshield wipers though, that's a nice little addition, nice little bit of design there. You can also see the front grille as well as front bumper is created uh, using plastic. So first of all the front bumper section as well as the winch is created using the black base plastic. But uh, this grille section is actually created using the black interior plastic. The bottom plastic is actually, so the base plastic, is actually a dark grey I would say. Whereas that grille plastic is really dark black. 
As for the temp boards, there's no, none on the front, but they have carved out that Mercedes badge in plastic, so you could add your own details using sharp or acrylic paint. The winch system is also carved out, so you could also detail that yourself if you wished. There is a bit of tempo, however, on the hood. The entire hood is done in black. It is a glossy black. And we have that continuation of the aluminous striping, but this time it is kind of like arrows pointing towards the windshield. You can also see there is the number 13, which is done in white tempo, as well as the writing rescue done underneath that. Moving on to the other side, this side is the same as the previous, so I'm not going to bore you, but you can obviously pause the video and have a look if you're looking for something specific. The rear of this car does not have any tempo. The rear bumper is created using the black base plastic or the dark grey base plastic. And uh, the spare wheels are created using the black interior plastic. You can also see that there is kind of like a side, like a step on the back. Obviously you could put stuff in the bed or stand on the bed. I'm guessing that's what that's for anyway. In fact, speaking of that, I think it might be actually the bed has been put down on this casting. I think that's what's actually happened. I don't think they're actually steps. But somebody can probably correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty much hedging my bets that that's what's happened there. That they have uh, decided to put the um, trunk, I suppose, down on this, or the rear hatch down. Now for in the actual bed, we do have um, two exhausts, or I believe they're both exhausts. One might be a snorkel, or that might be just an item in the back, but there is definitely one big stack exhaust there poking out the back. You can also see the majority of the bed is created using the interior plastic, which is done in black. You can see there are a few items in there. They seem to be like bags or maybe even luggage or maybe some off-roading tenting kit. I'm not fully sure. But with this being a rescue car, I would maybe think that it's maybe some kind of um, medical supplies. And the final bit that I do want to talk about, there's no tampos on the top, but there is some nice, I suppose, rivets or bumps. Those are made to represent the real-life car and those are for structural um, integrity so it will be a lot more um, structurally sound and obviously you could probably put things up there or stand on it if you needed to it's just to add that extra level of um, durability you need that on cars like this especially if you were to roll over that's what that's all for so there you go now let's get into the actual review of this car all right, so now it's time for my final thoughts and review of this car. I think it's a really nice off-roader and it's an interesting casting from Hot Wheels. Of course, it's their own kind of design of this car. You can see they've added the spare tires in the back and uh, it's quite modified. It's got some subtle things going for it and it's obviously uh, designed to look like a rescue vehicle. Anyways, that leads me on to my score out of 10. What am I gonna give this car out of 10? I'm gonna give this car a solid seven out of 10. I think it's a nice one and it's definitely something you should grab if you see it. The only kind of weird thing about this that I'm not super keen on is that orange window plastic. It kind of looks a bit weird. I think it would have looked a lot better with just a regular um, see-through coloured glass. But hey, Hot Wheels chose an aluminous orange glass, so that's what we got. Anyways, that's it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Remember, you can also press that notification bell so you do not miss a new upload. Remember, you can also share this video with any friends, family, or in any groups who may be interested. But remember, don't feel pressured to if you don't feel like you have anybody who may be interested. You watching this video all the way to the end means so much to me, and I really do thank you for watching all the way to the end. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.